Hey, what's up guys? Bob here for BPF Lures. Today we're gonna do another spraying session. We're gonna take this five inch spook and we're gonna turn it into a pretty awesome top water, salt water bait. So you guys stay tuned and check this out. I'm gonna go step by step. I will give you guys an insight on my whole thought process. It's gonna be pretty awesome. All right, guys, like I said before, we are doing this spook here, uh, which is a pretty, pretty fun bait. Uh, I love fishing with the spooks, topwater baits. Um, so what we're going to do with this thing is make it into a pilchard. Uh, this thing is five inches long. Uh, typical, a full length pilchard could wind up being up to 10 inches long. So it's double the length. Uh, so this is a nice, nice size uh, for this fish. Here's a picture of the fish. I'll throw it up on the screen. Uh, as you can see along the, uh, the the top of the back, you've got a lot of blues. Uh, you've got some black as well on the top. Uh, you see a little bit of gold around the face and around the back. And the body is pretty much just a, a silverish color. So that's kind of kind of be the idea we're going to do with it. Uh, do some silver, some black, some gold, some blue, and uh, just try to find uh, find out what combination works. So the first thing we did is we painted this thing white, uh, basically gave it a good primer. Um, so that's good to go. Now we're going to wrap it uh, in this cloth, this material here to give it a scale effect. Uh, and then after that, we will paint it silver. So I'll get the, uh, the scale on and uh, then we'll start uh, painting it silver. All right, so we've got this uh, material on right now that is gonna give us that scale effect. And now we're just gonna hit this with, uh, with a silver paint. I'm just using uh, the wicked, uh, the wicked silver. I love these wicked colors. Um, yeah, really good silver color. All right, so we got this whole thing painted uh, silver. We're gonna leave this material on because we wanna continue to capture the scaling effect. Um, so now looking at this picture again, if you look all along the back of this fish, uh, it's kind of on the side and going up towards the back, um, you could actually see uh, a lot of the blue and then you see blue uh, right at the tip of the tail, a little bit of black right here, uh, and then blue along the base. And that's pretty much what we're gonna do at this point on both sides. We're gonna run some blue across the body, uh, pretty much the top third of the body. Uh, we're gonna hit a little bit of blue across the bottom. And now it doesn't have to be perfect. No fish is perfect, no design is perfect. Uh, I'm actually gonna be doing two of these and I don't even expect those to be exactly the same because that's not how nature intended things to be. So uh, we'll start off now with, with doing the blue. We're gonna start right after the head. Kind of start with a really, really light, kind of a really light spot here so we get that line perfect. So we've got a pretty good line right there. I'm just gonna leave that and flip it to the other side. I typically like to line things up the way I do uh, and then go back with a heavier coat. Kind of just like outlining it or drawing it in pencil before you do it in pen or I don't know, whatever you wanna say. But as long as I can get my lines where I want them, I'm good. So I've got the lines on either side uh, in the blue. So we're good with that. Now that I have them, uh, we're gonna touch on the bottom a little bit. So we'll just, again, start a little bit behind the head, just like the picture. Just kind of hit that bottom. This one's gonna be a lot lighter uh, than it will on top. But we're just gonna hit that, go you know, halfway down or so. Maybe a little bit, if you look at the picture again, uh, you've got that black streak and then you've got blue at the end. So we're definitely gonna hit that blue at the end. 
Got that. Maybe a little dash right there. The cool thing is, like I said, these fish are, uh, not every fish is exactly the same. So to have a little bit of a difference on them is is perfect. Uh, but as long as it keeps the, the theme, that's, that's the goal. So again, we're gonna hit this here. Cross the bottom a little bit. We're gonna hit that tail pretty, pretty good. You know, I want it nice and blue before we do that black. Okay, and then we're gonna hit, just hit that base of that tail a little bit more. So we've got some blue spots. Let's see if I can get a better, better shot of this. So now that we've kind of got the, the very light blue on the bottom done on both sides, now it's time to darken up the, everything on top. Like I said, to me it was just an outline to get my borders. Now I don't mind going with a heavier paint, making it that darker blue that I want. And it's okay if we go all the way at the top here. Um, it's eventually going to wind up having a black strip down the back, uh, just like the picture. So, all right, so there we go. We've got, looking at this, it's kind of hard to see, but you've got that silver down the middle. You've got some blue on the bottom. Um, and then obviously you've got a lot of blue on top. Uh, and that, that was the goal with that. So, um, so far, it's not completely, it's not a completely blue bait. There's still a lot of silver left on it. Um, but now that we've got that piece done, we'll go and grab some gold. All right, now that the blue is all done, uh, we've gone and heat set this. Now we're going to play around with the gold. So uh, looking at the picture of this fish, it's got a lot of gold on the face and, and towards the head. And then just some kind of some random patches of gold uh, throughout the body and that's kind of what we want to hit on there. Um, I will say the paint that I used for the blue uh, for the back was uh, another Wicked paint and this one was pearl blue. The reason I did the pearl was just to try to make it uh, look authentic and give it that 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 real blue color, um, that glistening color that, that fish do have. So um, here we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna hit the gold uh, we're going to hit a little bit towards the, the tail end here, maybe a little bit just over this way, and then, you know, hit the, the head and some of the face, half of the face with the gold. Um, that way we can try to match what, what we see in the picture. Again, we're hitting this, this tail section here. Kind of giving it a random gold splotch there. We're gonna go down towards where the other fin would be here. Give it some gold there. And then we're gonna go up and grab that nose, up into the forehead. I wanna keep that, that bottom half of the, the face silver. That way it's a couple different colors up there. The top of it, like I said, is going to be black, so we're good on that. All right, we've got the, uh, we've got the black loaded up. And uh, what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to hit up this backside and uh, do black along there. And like I said before, there's a, a little segment on, on the picture to where there's just a little bit black here uh, towards the end. Um, and then you've got the tail that's blue. So we'll hit a little bit of black there, but, uh, you know, do the back in a pretty solid black. All right. So going to hit this black. It's going to go right up the back with it, starting at the nose. We don't want to go all the way down because remember we wanted some of this to be, uh, in that gold. Um, so I actually, I'll start, I'll start at the back and work my way towards the front. That way I know exactly where I want to stop. So again, I'm doing a really light, really light spray. That way I could determine exactly where I want it to be. And again, this is just how I do it. Everybody does it a little bit of a different way. Uh, some people that are way far ahead of me as far as skill set, um, they'll just go and paint it. Um, but me, I like to I like to draw that line and say, okay, well, this is this is where I'm going to start with things, um, and then I'll trace over that line a couple times getting darker every time. And then now I could determine, uh, now that I have this darker line on there, I could determine how far I want to come over on the sides. And I, I do want to come down a little bit 
I don't want to cover all the blue. I want to be careful not to cover all the blue, um, but I definitely want to definitely want to start coming down uh, with the black color. So we will kind of angle it like this, and we will, we're just gonna just gonna widen that path just a little bit. All right, so good on that side. Do the same thing over here. So there we go. Now we're going to do that little piece um, on the tail. Uh, like I said, it's really going to, the, the point of it is to put a little bit of black about right here to separate uh, the blue tail and the gold piece. And uh, just kind of put a little bit of a, a black line, a little bit of separation there. So we've still got the blue at the end uh, and we just, just added a little bit of black there. All right, so now I'm to the point where I'm gonna heat set this and then I'll take this material off and we'll really get a good idea of what it looks like. All right, and that's pretty cool. We've got a good scale effect going on. Uh, with this black on top, we're actually gonna make it more solid. So we'll, we'll go and spray uh, some black paint to fill this in a little bit. One thing I just realized that I need to do before uh, before I, I go in and add a little bit of silver to everything is to add the black dots across the back. Uh, in this picture, there's seven dots. Um, I don't think that's a specific number that you have to have, but I just want a pretty good balance um, going across the body of it. Uh, I'll pick the same number on both sides, uh, but really it's it's going to be, you know, just, just going a little bit after this gill plate and and doing some black dots along the side. I really want it to be within the blue. Uh, that way it's pronounced and it can actually be seen. Um, so that's what I'll go into at this point. Uh, this I'm gonna do instead of airbrushing it. Um, there's a, it, I could very easily grab this stencil right here and do black dots all along the thing. Um, but th those dots are gonna be absolutely perfectly shaped and I just, I don't really like that. I mean, I, I like things for to be a little bit off, a little bit odd, because like I said, nothing, nothing in nature is perfect. When I do my shad patterns and I put that dot on a shad, I don't use a perfect circle. I personally just don't care for that. I want something to be a little off. I want something, I'd rather cut a little circle out myself and be able to paint over that um, because I've never seen a shad with an absolute perfect circle. So, uh, that's kind of what I'm doing here. I'm just taking some of the black paint and I'm just going to do uh, some dots going across uh, on both sides of the bait. All right, so now I'm to the point where I've made a couple of these baits. They're all pretty close as far as design. Um, the designs are all the same. Uh, there may be a little bit of a uh, little bit that's different in each of them. Uh, and that, again, that's that's I'm okay with that. So uh, what we're doing now is I'm just going to touch touch up one of these baits. Uh, I wish I knew which one I started on this video, but. Uh, Either way, we'll, we're going to touch it up with just a little bit of silver uh, throughout a couple different spots. You know, spots where we think that just it needs to enhance a little bit to stand out from the other areas. I'll uh, finish up these other baits real quick, throw some eyes in these things, and, uh, you know, do a clear coat. All right, guys, here is the final product. Got some saltwater treble hooks in there. I made a total of three of these. The other ones have inline hooks. Um, came out really, really cool. All right, guys, there you have it. Custom painted lure. It's a pretty fun process, learning experience for me, and uh, fun to make some saltwater baits, which I'm excited to see how they perform. If you guys want, check me out, bpflures.com. Like this video, leave a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below. I'll get back to you.